Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Elite Weather Forecasting. I'm meteorologist Mr. G back with you once again. And outside, we are looking at the Grand Canyon on this beautiful day out there in uh, western Arizona where it's 75 degrees under partly cloudy skies and we are expecting thunderstorms to develop this afternoon as we have a rather active monsoon uh, period in place right now so we'll be looking for those thunderstorms to, to be developing out there and that can lead to some issues with some uh, maybe some severe weather this afternoon and some flash flooding from some of those heavier showers and thunderstorms. Now let's take a look at what's going on across the rest of the country as we deal with the heat and the humidity and the scattered thunderstorms. Okay, so let's start off the forecast by looking at the temperatures that's currently taking place across America. In our first map, we are going to be looking at those temperatures across the country right now. And we are looking at those temperatures out there in the 70s and the 80s across the Midwest and into the Northeast. A few 60s is possible as well, but we're also going to be seeing those temperatures uh, feel quite warm down there across Texas where we're looking at temperatures near 100 degrees there in Dallas Fort Worth it's still pretty early in the day across the western US so those temperatures are only in the 90s right now across Arizona and into Southern California but we have a bit more cloud cover as well as we're going to have an active monsoon now here's a look at our heat index across the country and we're seeing those heat indexes quite high across the state of Texas where it's 104 degrees and 102 respectively and that is between Austin Texas and and Dallas Fort Worth where we're seeing those uh, uh, heat indexes in the low 100s and we also see those heat indexes quite high in southern Louisiana where New Orleans is 102 and we're seeing those temperatures in the low 100s down there across the state of Florida as well. Here is our dew points. So we're seeing a high dew points along the Gulf Coast and across the southeast and over to Texas where we're seeing those dew points in the lower to middle 70s and even some upper 70s are going to be possible as well. But as we take a look at the northeast where we dealt with some severe weather over the last few days, that front has passed and now we're seeing it uh, fairly comfortable out there with those dew points in the 50s and we're also seeing it comfortable across the Great Lakes and the Northern Plains where those dew points are in the 50s but if you move over towards the High Plains we're starting to see that moisture increase as we're seeing dew points in the middle 60s if you look at Minot and, and, and parts of South Dakota you see those dew points in the mid 60s as we're starting to get some of that moisture and could see thunderstorms over those areas. Now let's talk about our heat, our temperatures, where we're going to be dealing with uh, some heat related issues and we have heat advisories and also some excessive heat to deal with across parts of Texas and the deep south. So Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, parts of Kansas, as well as down along the Gulf Coast, we're going to be dealing with that heat and those heat advisories. So please take precautions in keeping cool and plenty of fluids and stay under uh, some shade and out of the sunshine. Here is our temperatures. I'm going to step off the camera once again uh, so we can see the whole map there. There is our temperatures across the country and we are going to see that heat shifting to the south and today we're going to see a high of 106 for you folks down in Texas. A little bit cooler across the southwest where we're only going to have a high of 108 in Phoenix today. So we're going to be seeing it uh, a little bit cooler and due to, to cloud cover and those severe thunderstorms. Uh, very nice in the northeast temperatures in the 80s. In the Great Lakes we're going to see those upper 70s and we're going to see those 80s moving into the northern plains and we're going to be seeing those temperatures in the mid 90s across the northern Rockies. And as we talk about tomorrow we're still going to be seeing it very hot across the central and southern plains where those heat indexes can get up to 110 down there across Texas and we're going to be seeing those 
temperatures near 107 for you folks down there in Phoenix where we're going to still be dealing with those monsoons uh, across the west and we're going to be seeing it continue uh, somewhat comfortable across the northeast where New York City is going to see a heat index of 81 as well as a high temperature of 81 so that is very good that means you have uh, comfortable humidity and we're going to be seeing those temperatures in the lower 90s low to mid 90s across the northern plains and the upper midwest as the heat begins to build in across the center, center of the nation okay so we have our storm chances that we're going to be seeing over the central u.s so parts of louisiana all the way up to missouri, missouri and iowa and then across the central and northern plains where we can see thunderstorms because of that area of high pressure over texas and oklahoma it's also feeding our monsoon flow into the southwest but that moisture is traversing around the edge of that high pressure so we're going to be seeing thunderstorms along the periphery which is going to be including the desert southwest the rockies the northern plains the upper midwest the central and southern um midwest or well, the central u.s so from missouri to arkansas and louisiana so the mississippi river valley we're going to be seeing the potential for thunderstorms as well as that moisture circulate around that ridge of high pressure to the west and here we over the next three days we have a flash flood threat through the midwest that's going to include missouri on tuesday and wednesday and we can see the possibility of some flooding through parts of Tennessee and Georgia and parts of Alabama as well on your day on Thursday as we have a possibility of enough rainfall to lead to some flash flooding in that region. Now let's talk about our, our thunderstorms that we're seeing out there right now on your Monday and as we're going to see about 7 o'clock tonight we're going to see on, on, in the central time zone we're going to see thunderstorms moving across Missouri, southern Illinois, western Kentucky that's where we can see some showers and severe, severe storms this afternoon heavy rain is going to be um, the main threat here as well as some damaging wind and large hail here is our monsoon setup. So we're going to be seeing them signs of life in the monsoons as we have our monsoon moisture surging back into the region along that periphery of the high pressure as it comes out of the southeast. And we also are pulling up some moisture off of the Pacific as well. And we're going to be seeing those thunderstorms from Southern California, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Utah, and into Colorado. We're going to be seeing those monsoon thunderstorms. Now we're going to see our severe storm threat across Arizona this afternoon where we can see a slight risk, a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. And that primary threat is going to be heavy rainfall and damaging winds are going to be the primary threat. And we could also see some hail from some of these thunderstorms as well. Alright, so look at this beautiful shot of the monsoon there through the Grand Canyon. We're seeing a monsoon thunderstorm out there in the distance, so that is a very good shot there of the, our very suddenly active monsoon. And there's another monsoon across uh, the uh, Desert Museum area of Arizona. This is near the Tucson area that this photograph was taken of a nighttime thunderstorm. Or, uh, this thunderstorm happened about sunset. As you can see the light there in the, uh, on the, where it's still a little bit of daylight coming through. But you can see it's getting pretty dark out there from that beautiful thunderstorms. I'm telling you, the monsoons produce uh, very beautiful thunderstorms out there over Arizona and Utah. Very beautiful. Alright, so here's our flash flood threat. Now this flash flood threat is going to occur over parts of Colorado. We're going to see the high plains as well. So Denver eastward to the border with Kansas as well as North and South Dakota. We're going to be seeing those severe, those thunderstorms produce some of uh, the likelihood of flash flooding and some um, 
So remember, especially over higher elevations and over the mountains and through the national parks, especially be very careful if you're out in like Bryce Canyon or Zion or Glenwood Springs. We're going to be watching for uh, those along I-70, I-80. We're going to be looking at the potential for flash flooding from some isolated thunderstorms. All right, so the Northeast is enjoying a nice cool down or a reprieve from the heat and the severe weather that they had. And we had a one-two punch cold fronts come through and cool things down across the Northeast, lower those humidity levels and those temperatures. We're seeing those temperatures in the 80s and those, uh, those dew points and that heat index is running uh, very comfortable, much better. It's going to heat up over the next few days. We're going to see the heat somewhat return as we start to pick up a southerly flow and a southeasterly flow off of the water. So enjoy that cool down while it lasts. And here's our temperatures for tomorrow. We're going to see those high temperatures today and tomorrow in the upper 70s to the low to mid 80s. And we're going to also see a very nice temperatures in the, a little bit warm on the in, as, uh, across the uh, as you go further to the south there along the mid-Atlantic so Virginia and Maryland it's going to be a little bit warmer but we're going to see those temperatures in the 50s in New England check out Portland and Syracuse with overnight lows tonight in the mid 50s that'll be awfully nice sleeping weather for some of you folks out there and that is a look at your weather forecast my name is Mr. G Thank you for joining me today. Leave a like to, and a comment and feel free to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and TikTok. Have a good day and I will see you guys tomorrow evening. Bye-bye.